on a major loose guard. The video you are about to watch is so disheartening. It's about this particular man, this very man known as Casey Amadi, who killed his side chick, mutilated her body, and put her into trash bags alongside the body of a goat and that of a dog. This Casey Amadi, the son of a very popular bishop in Abuja, there in Kubwa. As he killed the girl, finish. Put her for inside bag, where they throw in the tea. Wrap her. Three bags, and inside, the body of goat, where they keep the inside. The body of dog, where they keep the inside. He wrap her. Come outside from the church. Now he stop Keke, tell Keke man, say, I want to carry this dirty, go through it. The Keke man no reason anything. The Keke man charge and say, based on say this dirty plenty, you go pay 1,000 naira. Now take go drop this dirty. He said, no problem. Now he arrange the bags inside the Keke enter. As they were going, they got to a particular bridge in Abuja, that PW bridge. He tell the Keke man, say, I bear wait. Now he carry the bags, begin to throw from the bridge. Hoping say the bags will fall, enter the river, then the river, the current will flow the bags to unknown destination. But as God will have it, as he throw the bags, the bags can fall for the side of the river. It can't join other bags where they say they put for their dirty. Now they continue their journey. When the Kekeman reach house, he look his seat, he see and say blood day is it. But he not think him because the man tell and say now dirty day inside the bag. So if he say maybe now wastage from what did they do, the man clean his seat. The next morning, this very keke man enter road. Say may go walk, may go hustle for a daily bread. As he they go, he reach the bridge. Now he say, I say people gather. Now he say what did they happen? What did they happen for this place? Now they tell and say see oh see what did they find? All these people every say they open the tea bags, they carry condemned things. They open some sets of bags and they discover mutilated corpse of a lady. Now the Kekema Wakari is there. Now I see him. Once, now I remember, say, ah, this particular bag where we say they open so. Now I carry this bag yesterday. Immediately, he remember and he know what he's supposed to do. So the man come out. Now I go meet the chairman for park. Say, chair, see what thing they happen. Now the chairman tell him, say, the next thing for us to do, now to report to the Nigerian police. So they reported to the Nigerian police, who were already invited to the scene to witness what was happening. They don't even they carry the cops and every other thing come out. When police got wind of the information, immediately they went to the church. And there they arrested this particular man known as Casey Amadi and the father. On getting to the station, after a series of investigation and interview, Casey Amadi come and said, say yes, they actually killed this particular girl, mutilated her corpse with the mindset of disposing it. And a father, they are away. And a father not do the killing. Now, the father on his own part say yes. Now, they actually, they involved for this matter. But, not being do the killing. No. Say now, the son not do the killing. Because the girl, now the man, that's the son, no, side chick. It be like say something happened between this his son and the side chick. Now him as father, they just try to cover up. But the son, on the other hand, they say no. Yes, the girl that my friend. Now my father say make I invite her come house. Now my father not kill her. Mona see what the people they do for inside church or in the name of Christianity. What is the purpose? Because waiting me they talk now and I say, inside the same bag, dog. The inside, good. The inside, you want me? The inside. What thing they use that one to me? I've been a ritual that they do. Is this what they have been doing in their church to sustain membership, or are they involved in selling parts to buyers? Imagine the innocent girl. Oh, life. Life could be bitter at times. All I know is that those men of God that are hiding under the gospel of God to do evil. God will dispose on one after the other.